Be with him in a moment. Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? Be that as it may. Theramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared, fingers and toes and limbs elongate. Day six, the flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven, a mind flayer is born. My point is this, our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Abominations grow inside us. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed. Yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. I saw you getting a lecture from our magical friend. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. We're all doing surprisingly well, given the circumstances. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. One good swing and then nothing. <laughs> but we were talking about you. What'll it be? A fine choice. Now, to use sword or axe. Or saw. Hmm. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst case scenario, obviously. If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. I couldn't help but overhear... Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? Ha! <laughs> Adorable. But your timing is awful. Whatever the Mind Flayer's plans were, those dragons spoiled them. That doesn't make our situation less dangerous. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Well, I've said my piece. Get some rest. Chucky, come closer. Dry skin, clear eyes. You do not suffer, you flourish. Disturbing. Saw Lazelle giving you a look over. Great minds think alike. No doubt she came to the same conclusion. We're healthier than we should be. I saw our gith friend inspecting you. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. So, not a tentacle to be seen. Naturally, but I was thinking, what if it doesn't? Of course, first sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. How do you feel? Better than I ought to. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. It's so strange. Do you remember the voice from the ship? After they put that tadpole in my eye, I heard this voice. It was soothing. 
All right. I've kept you from your blanket long enough. Rest well. Sounds like you've been learning all about your gruesome future. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen.